Hi everyone, welcome back to MovieJube. I am here to be watching 310 to Yuma for my first time ever. And I thank you all so, so much for all of the suggestions that you have left on the previous uh, films that I reacted to. Um, please keep them coming because I'm definitely on a Western kick. And I'm also, as you know, a newbie to Westerns. So, um, I'd love to keep hearing all the recommendations that you have. And yeah, this one was quite highly recommended by many different comments. And I like to go by that, like the more people that recommend one thing, I'm like, okay, you guys, are, you're, t you're telling me, get on it. So we're getting on it. <laughs> and uh, if you'd like to see the full uncut reaction that will be available on Patreon, linked in the description and the pinned comment, that's just an option. And if you'd like to support uh, the channel, but otherwise, join me here on YouTube, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Okay. 310 to Yuma. Oh, damn, it's the wind. That ain't the wind. No! We have a week, Evans, then we burn the house. Get out, get out. That's the last feed we got! I'll take care of this. No, you won't. You told me we made payments to Hollander. We did. We were supposed to make decisions together. Would you have made it any different? It's too bad the doctors at Essex saved so much of my leg. I read that the Pension Act pays by the pound now. Stop looking at me like that. We're gonna round up the herd, and then I'm going into town. Oh, this kid's so cute. Tell Hollander to make this right. I'm gonna tell him to pay for a new barn. Maybe we should just shoot him like Will says. It's a nice coat. Coach is headed for Bisbee, boss. Pink's on top, double shotguns, and a Gatling. Such a beautiful black horse. I'm obsessed with uh, all black animals, but especially um, all black cats, because they're considered bad luck. But I disagree, hence why my cats are black. Because <laughs> they get adopted less. Sorry, this is so random. <laughs> Should've let me save the feed. You gonna hop that? Someday, William. You walk in my shoes, you might understand. I ain't ever walking in your shoes. Tracks over here! <laughs> I really like Logan Lemon. Oh, they were close by enough to hear that. But I'm probably biased because he looks like my husband. <laughs> oh, was that the, the Gatling thing they were talking about? Here we go. Damn, they were fully prepared. Oh yeah, look at that thing go! That was some good sniping. Stay near! Mark! Go back home. Ooh. Oh, I didn't like that! Oh, the cattle. Damn. God. Morning, Pinkerton. Name's Charlie Prince. I expect you heard of me. Well, I heard of the Charlie Princess. <laughs> Byron McElroy. When you're here, to an old gray Byron. Oh, you gotta help, Ben Wade. You all spared no expense this time, Byron. Probably cheaper just to let me rob the damn thing. You're, you're gonna kill me. Just as soon get to it. I ain't gonna kill you. Uh, Not like this. Well, I mean, he's been shot through the stomach. I don't think he could survive that. I'll come for you. Be disappointed if you didn't. Can you seriously survive a, sh a shot to all of your guts and internal organs? 
especially in those times. You step back, but this man dies! Smart move, Fran. You should have just played dead and let them leave. He's fast. Well, Tommy, it seems that there was a Pinkerton inside that coach who wasn't quite dead. What happens when you put us all at risk? Keep looking at me back up quietly. Man, this is scary. Morning. Those are my cattle. I want them back. Careful, Rancher. That's Ben Wade you're talking to. Well, I need them back. They're all I got. I don't need your cattle, but I will be needing them horses. Don't go do nothing foolish. Whoa. Find them on the road to Bisbee. Boys? They're probably just running late. Pinkertons don't run late. That's why they're paid $18 a day. Pretty bad shape, mister. Just get me on my damn feet. Oh, is that from inside his body? William, give me some of them boards. Slick with it. Can I help you? A coach headed for here got itself held up in the canyon about 10 miles back. Damn it. By Mr. Ben Wade himself. It's been him the last 21 times. <laughs> the last 21 times, jeez. Why the hell didn't you do something? They had a lot of weapons, mister, and they were shooting bullets. You want just a random passerby to take on all of that? Where are you from, anyway? Tom Conrad out in Mexico hired us to drive him in. Go. Come on, boys. Creepy smile. Something's going on with the railroad, man. Some whiskey for my friends. They basically said this bar's ours now. <laughs> Here's to the four we lost in battle. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, and on his own destruction. Amen. Tommy is dead. All right. <laughs> Sheesh. Marshall's only half stupid. He's gonna be back soon. I've seen you someplace before. Have you? She's got such a classic voice, my god. You ever work for a blind Irishman in Leadville? I was a singer. Best time I ever had in my whole life. Yeah, she sounds like a an actress from the 50s. Got to coughing. Doctor said I should find a drier climate. You look kind of skinny. I feel skinny. I don't mind skinny girls. As long as they got green eyes to make up for it. If you got green eyes. Damn. That's scary. I'll take him into town on my own. <sighs> Good. Boys go ran up the herd. I'm glad they've got their horses. Don't push him too hard. I can't afford any more dropping. Mr. McElroy. He doesn't care? Okay. Pretty little Pueblo going down by the river. Imagine me shitting on down to Mexico with Ben Wade on my arm. Ugh. He's a bounty hunter under contract with the Pinkertons. You've lost a lot of blood, Mr. McElroy. That bullet's still in there. Well, get it out. There's no way he's gonna survive that. How? God, someone give him some alcohol at least. No, 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 no. You don't need to show me. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Gotta talk to your eye, you anyway. It's nice to have a conversation with the patient for a change. <laughs> animal doctor. I mean, you know, we're just a different kind of animal. You shut off my water, how'd you- Oh my god. Turned out the creek and the water. And as such I can do with it as a fucking please. Damn. Sometimes a man has to be big enough to see how small he is. <laughs> He's desperate. Hollander! You look a little bent, rancher. You come to wake some snakes? You got your horses back, didn't you? It's very nice of you. <laughs> but you killed two of my herd. There's two dollars for half a day. That's nice. You took up my boy's time, too. I did. Anything else you want to get paid for? Give me five dollars extra. <laughs> and what's that for? Give me nervous. <laughs> Making me nervous. Ben Wade. I think we should shoot him right now. Put a bullet right in his noggin. Everybody in the old town will be dead by morning. Wow. 
Over $400,000 in loss. Woo! We'll have Ben Wade convicted in a federal court. Hanged in public. I was best shot in my regiment. I'll come for $200. You fight for the north or the south? North. Fine. $200. I can't believe he survived that gunshot. Oh my god, what a... Mm, no bed. How long does he have to be here? They are. Make sure his outfit takes the bait. Damn. Him looking over the ranch. Mother! Evans! Give me a hand with this! Whatever your wife's cooking in there, smells good, Evans. Yeah. I don't think he's taking the bait. I think he's going to pretend to, but know that they did something. Then fire an unpleasant surprise. To an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> Damn, that must be weird for him. So much younger here. We always wait to say grace. Aren't we supposed to say grace for murderers too? And if my Paul wants to, he can shoot you dead. Okay, you don't need to say that, <laughs> that little fella. It was a lot different than uh, shooting a man. No, it didn't. Not my opinion. The Lord ponders the heart. He's such an interesting character, Ben. Don't tell him nothing. Where are you stationed? He likes to um, play mind games and. Second Company sharpshooters out of Linfield, Massachusetts. My father was defending the U.S. Capitol. Tell me the story of how you lost your leg. He's killed more men than the drought. He's not what I expected. <laughs> Dangerous. Well. He's incredibly dangerous, but I don't want you with the voice talking to him. You can change your mind, Dan. No one will think less of you. No one can think less of me. Change your mind on what? We'll be alright. But we won't make it through the next six days if I don't do this. Yeah, they need that money. McElroy says five minutes. You think it's too much for me? The killer, Daniel. To bring him to justice. What are you thinking? That he needs the money? <laughs> I'm not out there alone. I don't know why she's shaking her head. I agree with him. Like, this is a way to get quick money and to keep them on their feet and their kids fed. My horse now. Come on over here. Don't you be in trouble, Mark. Yes, sir. All right. I want to come with you. Well, you can. I can help. I can ride faster and shoot better than anyone in there. I don't have time to argue. I need you here. So, oh, boys, where are we headed? You're a prisoner. You don't speak. You don't goddamn breathe unless we say so. You understand that? Putting you under 310 to you, my day after tomorrow. Shouldn't have told him that. Yikes. Relax, friend. To thank you for your hospitality, ma'am. Hope I can send your husband back all right. He's very charming. It's it's uncanny, like it's scary. Because you know how cold he can be. I mean, the kids even saw it. What are you doing out here, Dan? He needs the money. You got a family to protect. Maybe I don't like the idea of men like you on the loose. Damn. It's man's nature to take what he wants, Dan. That's how we're born. Well, I'm making all this living. But I don't think it's much of a living. You must be hurting bad for money to take this job. He's very much hurting bad for money. Go to sleep. <laughs> I imagine debt puts a lot of pressure on a marriage. What would you know about marriage? Well, I know if I was lucky enough to have a wife like Alice, I'd treat a whole lot better than you do, Dan. Damn. Buy her pretty dresses. Wouldn't make it work so hard. He's trying to get money. <laughs> Alice is a real pretty girl. Oh, my boy. You say one more word. I'll cut you down right here. I like this side of you, Dan. So he's playing mind games with him. You're gonna hang me in the morning when they ever see the sun. Beautiful voice. <laughs> Poses too much to ask for a little quiet. You're damn well gonna be up with me too. <laughs> ben Wade. You're gonna hang me in the morning. He's got the crazy in him. <laughs> Ooh, bah. <laughs> Enough! Oh dear. Well, that's one man down. You wanna hang me in the morning? The carriages are so little, I guess, to be as fast as possible, but such little tiny carriages. Mmm. You worry there, boss. We're gonna get you out of there in a second. So they did fall for it, but. Oh god. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Open the door, let me out of here, goddammit! Where did they take him? 
where they took him. I'm going to contention! Let me put him on the three ten- He's still gonna burn you, dude. Tomorrow! Yeah, there's- They were still gonna burn you. 80 miles back the other way. We'd have to about kill our horses. His own fault, he got caught. <laughs> got what he done for us. We're going to contention! Oh, what a horrible way to die. God. There's a shortcut we could take. We'll take our chances. Oh boy. This is so tense. With all the beautiful rock formations though. So cool. Oh, are they left to die like that? Why are humans so brutal? Just put a bullet in someone's head. Come on. You don't gotta... Ugh. <sighs> Butterfield. Well, Tucker took my horse. And he sang. <laughs> Told me you burnt down your barn. He did. But wishing him dead and killing him are two different things. Your conscience is sensitive, Dan. <laughs> I don't think it's my favorite part of you. I don't think it's my favorite part of you. You want to talk to someone? I don't like talking to you, Byron. I don't like talking to you. I just don't find you that interesting. Oh. Laugh it up, Doc. Byron's like a song with one note. Rancid womb of a whore. Damn. <laughs> what a way to speak about your parents. Oh boy. Drop it, Dan Evans. I set to the ground, Doc. Butterfield. I believe, Dan. You're carrying a pistol as well. I always liked you, Byron. Ooh. But you never knew when to shut up. Even bad men love their mamas. Now I think it's time for everybody to go home. Don't oh, you move, Mr. Wade. Shh. Shotgun. Oh, damn. What the hell are you doing here? I don't think you're gonna shoot a man you admire in the back of the head, boy. You admire? Oh, damn. Tell your boy it's over. You think you can keep your gun on him, will you? I'm doing a damn sight better than you did. Sheesh. That's two men down. Sheesh. Good job, William. You ever been to Dodge City? No. Stop talking to him. You ever been to Dodge? Yes, indeed. Meanest, most beautiful, dirty city there ever was. <laughs> Women will do things to you you'll never forget. They give you disease you'll never forget. <laughs> That's so funny. You can't forget that disease. <laughs> I got there on my own as a boy, not much bigger than you. How many men you killed since then, Wade? How many families you destroyed? But it is interesting, like... Quite a few. It's okay when Byron does it, but it's not okay when... Ben does it? True that you dynamited a wagon full of prospectors. No, that's a lie. It was a train full. Whoa! <laughs> Dynamite was a hell of a thing at the time, wasn't it? Well, Dan, <sighs> I gotta take a piss. <clears throat> Far out. Yours? If they're mine, you'd be dead. <laughs> if they mine, you'd be dead. I like that. Give me that gun, Wade! 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Damn! I told you not to come this way. Damn, Wade. McElroy's decision. Give me the keys to the handcuffs. Damn. Easy now. Where is he? He's gone. Yeah. He'd be long gone. Cut the horses with him. Found this in the grass. All of the horses? The corpus went out of the pass. We're going after him? But didn't you throw the keys? No reward for getting him halfway to that train, is there? I guess he didn't have the time to look for the keys. These are the workers that they forced to work on the trains. They used them as like slave labor, didn't they? Or did they get paid like a pathetically less amount than other Americans? be honest with y'all, I like some of their food. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> their food's good, huh? Goddamn coolies. <gasps> Monkey! Boot up their ass. Monkey! Monkey to lay track. I love him. Holy Christ. Who's that? That's him. Help me with the handcuffs. Break the chain. Use the hammer to chain. Stand wave! Just come on out! Well... What are they doing? What the hell's going on here? Damn. 
Mr. Butterfield, you finished in Bisbee? Better hurry, we're making a last blast. That's my prisoner. I'm taking him to contention, putting him on the prison train to Yuma. Come now, Mr. Bowles, that's Ben Wade you have there. Gunned down my kid brother, in front of him. Six years ago in Abilene. Your brother was a lion, Bill can card sharp. Damn. At least it was the asshole I remember. Could of course been some other asshole I killed that I forgot about. Can't do that, that's immoral. Moral ain't got a damn thing to do with it. I was expecting to collect a $200 reward for that man, I'm delivering him to contention. Ain't it bad enough to die? Yeah. But at least let us take our horses. Nice knowing you, Dan. Hot damn. Oh no, is that dynamite that he's got? <laughs> oh god. No, are you gonna kill innocent civilians? Oh! That's effed up. God damn it! Dog's down. Did we make it? Did we get away? Yeah, dog. We did. Thanks to you. This is contention. They made it, but uh... We need a place to lay low. Keep him out of sight till the train comes. There's a hotel up here. I'll check us in. You ride right around back. All right. Hey, William, go keep a watch at the railhead. You see them coming? I'll let you know. William? He did good. Did hella good. There's a can-can on the hour if you're interested. <laughs> can-can on the hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bridal suite. Ooh, the bridal suite. <laughs> Perfect for this occasion. Well, well, that looks like rain clouds over Bisbee. You still need that $200 down? Shut up. Mr. Evans, I'm gonna go see about the marshal. Be careful. Come on, move. We're looking for a group escorting an outlaw by the name of Ben Wade. We've been chasing him through these tunnels. Who are you? What's it to you? Ben Wade. Killed my brother. You boys, some kind of posse. Yep. I knew it. Oh boy. I hate posses. <laughs> I hate posses. So does that mean that the Chinese immigrants are free from labor? Now I wonder how many brides have taken in this view. Well, what do you think about double that amount? To pay your debts? Well, you reckon I'm gonna do that? By double crossing? Lay down your gun, let me walk out the door. It's worth four hundred dollars to me. <laughs> That's worth four hundred to me. <gasps> no. No, I reckon it's a thousand. One thousand dollars. Now there's ten times that amount of Butterfield's coach. You want my cut down? Huh. It's all yours. Isn't that kind of reckless of you, Wade? Seeing as uh you're so sure that uh, your crew's coming to get you? Well, they're coming down. Sure as God's vengeance, they're coming. Damn. <laughs> but I just like to do things easy. Imagine what you could do with a thousand dollars, Dan. What about Alice? She would be the proud wife of a bona fide Arizona rancher. All you got to do is say yes. But how's he gonna guarantee getting the thousand dollars? Your men are gonna think they need to kill him as opposed to pay him. That you got the jump on me, you escaped, and somehow I got a fortune. <laughs> no. How dumb you think people are? Nobody needs to know. You know what? Could you do me a favor. I mean we're still not friends. Come five minutes to three, we're gonna be a hell of a lot closer than you think. They're gonna hang me in the morning for the night is done. I'll never see the sun. Who is it? It's me, Dan. You've been gone a long time, Mr. Butterfield. Dan, this is Marshal Will Dome. You're my finest man. Hey, I'm grateful for the help. Don't mention it. It may not seem like it, Mr. Wade, but we got law and order in this town. Well, that's. Very reassuring, Mark. <laughs> Very reassuring. How much is Butterfield paying you? He's so cheeky. Well, I'll be walking with you. You have my word on that, Dan? It ain't enough. Damn. Nearly enough. Yeah, his men are brutal. About a mile out, same way we come. Seven, eight. Which is it, boys? Seven or eight? Mm-mm. Side as quickly as possible. That's it. Move along, folks. Move along. Oh dear. This is going to go bad. 
Oh, damn. That's why he's not scared. The bartender's working with him. Boss, you in there? What do you want me to tell him? A letter every day from Yuma. <sighs> Charlie, why don't you take the boys down to the saloon and buy them a drink? You okay? Oh, I'm fine. Just sitting up here with my four new friends. Hey. Yeah, so <laughs> the number. Thank you, Charlie. Boys? His hat. <laughs> Listen up! Listen up! That's Ben Wade they have up there. Now, the railroad intends put him on the 310 to Yuma and hang him. 200 cash dollars. Any man who shoots any one of his captors. <sighs> Guaranteed. <clears throat> $200 guaranteed. Give me the money. Well, you gotta shoot him first. Yeah, you gotta shoot. Sheesh. There's gonna be 30, 40 more guns out there now. He's gonna get sh shut up. Uh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. That's a man's duty, but. I'm sorry, mister. <laughs> but I'm not gonna die here today. That's crazy. And neither are my men. Wow. Marshal. All right, take the deal. Take the deal with Ben. Oh God, take the deal with Ben. Pretty much everyone wants to live. I'll double your money. Do you want to see a shot down in the street? Why bring your troubles to contention? We've got families. He's gonna walk out on you. Then you best get out like the rest of us. He's gonna walk out on you. Are you and your boy gonna die? Not because Butterfield's railroad lost some money. Damn. Damn. <sighs> take the deal with. And all of them? Almost. Your move, General. What do you expect him to say? I expect him to say something that makes sense. Something might save the two of you. Take a look, Dan. What about you, kid? You wanna look? Go on, take a look. Stand back, Jack. Back door. They're gonna laugh while they do it. You saved us from those Indians. I saved myself. If I'd had a gun in them tunnels, I would have used it on you. I don't believe you. I wouldn't last five minutes leading an outfit like that if I wasn't as rotten as hell. If I wasn't as rotten as hell. Damn, that's cool, but it makes me sad how much William wants to believe that he... Maybe he's right, Pa. Maybe we should go home. Well, what did Doc Potter give his life for, William? I'll pay the 200, Dan, right now, and you can walk away. You know, this whole riot has been nagging on me. That's what the government gave me for my leg. When you think about it, which I have been lately... It's not enough. They were paying me so they could walk away. No, 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 wait. I'm seeing the world the way it is. If you take him to the train, Pa, I'm going with you. Mr. Butterfield's gonna take you home. I'm staying here with you. You're gonna hold up in a room across the hall? I'll get him to Bisbee. Dan, I promise you. I want guarantees. Yeah. The debt is paid. We'll never set foot on my land again. Yeah. And I expect you to hand my wife 1,000 cash dollars. I can deliver that. Just get him on the train. You heard him? He's gonna sacrifice his life. William, I want you to give this back to your mother. I want you to tell her that it helped me find what was right. I can't, can't just... I'm gonna be a day behind you, William. Man at the ranch. To run things because you've become a fine man, William. You got all the best parts in me. <laughs> well, few there are. And you just remember that your old man walked Ben Wade to that station when nobody else would. But wait in that other room till they're gone because they're gonna shoot you on sight. So just... It's time. I don't s foresee a way you can possibly get to the train station alive. Like, I, I, I don't see a single whale. Wait, whale? Way. Sorry, I'm losing it. Damn. Damn, he's trying to save his life. <gasps> Not get a chance to use those Schofields, Charlie. Explain to me the next portion of your plan. <sighs> hey! Hey! The rancher, you dumb shit! Yeah, he's annoyed now that... Now that they're being so careless. Because they just want the $200 so badly. Boss! Boss! Let's go! Move it! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, damn. They clipped Wade. I'll get you on that train, Wade. Boy's gone, hero. Ain't nobody watching no more. Still got that one good leg. Why don't you use it to get on home? Charlie, hold your fire. Walking out. He will kill you if he has to. Wade will just... He'll just do it. I had never been no hero, Wade. Shot off by one of my own men. You try telling that story. You're a boy. See how he looks at you then. <sighs> Is he gonna let himself go to... No, 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 William. Run the roof! Let himself, um... Ah! Go to jail just... <sighs> Can't believe he's working with him. <laughs> That's crazy. For his own imprisonment, but I guess maybe he'll get his boys to get him off from the train or. Wade's a crazy man. <laughs> What time is it? About ten past three. Where's the free ten of Yuma? Run late, I suppose. Oh wow. <laughs> gets here when it gets here. God damn trains. <laughs> you can't rely on them, huh? That's crazy. I don't know why Wade would do this for him. William. He ain't stubborn. Excuse me. <laughs> He said I was stubborn, keeping my family on a dime ranch. My son, Mark, he got tuberculosis. The doctor said he'd die if he didn't have a dry climate. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. I guess I just wanted you to know that I ain't stubborn. <laughs> really badass of, of Wade to get sent back. Oh shoot, he's getting trampled on. I got a prisoner to go to Yuba. Yeah, he's putting himself on board. That's crazy. Well, you did it, Dan. No! I knew it couldn't possibly end. No, 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 no. Don't go further. He's one tough son of a bitch. Yeah. He grew to like him. Wow. Wow, okay, that I wasn't expecting. You've done it, Paul. You've done it. You got him on the train. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Paul. He got back on board. What? And now without his boys to be able to get him to escape. Wow. All right, everyone. That was 310 to Yuma, and that did not end how I thought it would at all. That was a really awesome film. I loved how that was done, and it definitely subverted my expectations. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you all so, so much for joining me and watching along. Please be sure to check out the uh, full version, which is available on Patreon, linked in the description and the pinned comment. And otherwise, I will see you all in the next video. Please leave your suggestions, and I'm excited to check out some more. But uh, yeah, I think Russell Crowe did a phenomenal job. Ben Wade, that character was just so fascinating. Never seen a, a character portrayed quite like that, honestly. Very interesting. I liked that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.